This video is for midwives and healthcare assistants who will be collecting samples for life study participants. This video shows how to collect a baby saliva swab. Before you collect the sample, please check whether the woman has consented to give biosamples and check that she is happy to give her baby saliva. The sample should ideally be taken on the day of birth at the time of checking for a complete pallet immediately after delivery. However, if this is not possible, the day after birth is also acceptable. Please make sure that you have all the equipment ready before you start. All the equipment needed for sample collection can be found in the baby saliva collection kit. Please refer to the life study folder for the location of the kit. Each kit contains a sterile collection swab, a screw top specimen container, a Ziploc plastic bag, a sample collection instruction sheet for midwives can be found in the life study folder. Before collecting the sample, you should print the woman's life study sticker and place it onto the specimen collection tube. The sticker should be printed as close to the time of sample collection as possible. Please watch the separate labelling video which shows how to do this. Samples should be collected by a midwife or by any member of staff who has received the life study training. Caution should always be used when inserting anything into a child's mouth. Please only use the swabs provided for collection. Put on the non-sterile gloves. Remove the swab from the sterile packaging, handle end first. Place the swab into the baby's mouth under the edge of the tongue for around 30 seconds until it is completely saturated with saliva. Please note that it is not necessary to rub the inside of the cheek with the swab. The amount of time it takes to saturate the swab will depend on the baby. Place the saturated swab into the specimen tube. Securely tighten the tube cap. The sample should be placed into a Ziploc bag and placed into the life study fridge on the labour ward. Dispose of the gloves. The midwife or healthcare assistant should record whether a sample was given using the checklist kept in the woman's notes. If a sample was not given, please ensure that a reason, for example, consent declined, is provided. Finally, the logbook and the labour ward's lease room should be completed. For further information on the sample collection process, please contact the life study research midwives.